Hello, 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 how are you? Uh, this is Elle's company from Beamus Crafty Corner. We have another Dollar Tree product uh, project for you today. Um, the first part of which is this little see-through dollar decoration. Uh, easy on, easy off. and um, It's just, it's plastic and uh, see-through. So we're going to be using this today. And we're going to be using one of these wall hanging decors from the Crafter Square. And this is a just under 18 inch by just under four and a half inch wide piece of bolsa. You can get that anywhere. And um, so we're going to start off with, um, we're going to paint this and I'm going to be using some matte finish Waverly chalk paint here. This is in the color of steel and I'm going to put a coat of that on here. So I'm going to get out some stuff to protect my work surface and get this off of here. I'll show you how and then we're going to get started on this. So I'll be right back. All right. So we have our piece. We have something to protect our work surface. We have a nice big mop paintbrush, our paint, a little dish to put it in and we have our string. So how do we get this off? Well, on the back, there's these little aglets, okay? See these little plastic things? Mm -hmm. We're just going to pull the thread back into the aglet and then just pull the whole thing right through, okay? Easy peasy. Then we're going to take some of our paint. to put it oh, 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 into our little bowl on my little spatulas here Make it easier to pull this off there we go and of course I have some paper towel handy I'm going to take some of my paint. I'm going to make sure that I shake this up really good. I'm going to put it in. There we go. And I'm going to put two coats on this. So, you can prime if you want to uh, for this project, but since we're going to be distressing it, Priming it just seems a little redundant. But if you want to prime it, you can prime it. The whole key here is to use a darker color um, as your base color, and then we're going to use a lighter color on top of it. So I'm going to put two coats on here. And I'm going to make sure that they dry thoroughly between the coats. So I'm going to give it about an hour to dry um, because I live in the desert. So I'm going to put it outside uh, in the 112 degrees that we have today and let it dry for about an hour and then bring it back in. Put on the second coat and then I'll be back and we'll walk through the next part of this process. Okay, so one coat fully dried. Second coat, fully dried. And then we'll come back in and get ready for the third coat, okay? There we go. Now I'm going to do both sides of this, so I'm actually going to end up doing four pieces. Because I have to do, you know, I have to do the edges and the back and all of that. So I'm just putting the base coat on the back, so no big deal but I want to make sure that I do get it thoroughly covered, okay? So I'll be back in just a few seconds. And miraculously, just like on old cooking shows, this will have dried and we'll be ready to move on to the next part. I'll be right back. All right, we're dry. And we're gonna move on to the next coat. And for this, I have chosen 
this color called Downy, and it's from Martha Stewart. And it's kind of a light gray color. So I'm going to put a nice thin coat of this on. And I'm going to let this dry. And then once this dries, I'm going to come back and we're going to get out uh, our sandpaper. And we're going to get started on distressing this. Okay? coat on let it dry for a couple hours or you know 15 minutes in the heat <laughs> uh, but we do want this to be completely dry using nice long strokes here because I don't want those little cut marks where the paint ends. So I'm going off the edge. Okay. Once this is all dry, then we're going to move on to the next part. All right. I'll be back. All right. So while we're waiting for the other piece to dry, we're going to get started on this part. And, you know, our piece is long and the hanger is on the edge. So we need to turn this the other way. So to do that, we're just going to cut out the letters here. Okay. And then we're just going to kind of roughly fussy cut around the vinyl. And get these all trimmed down and then we'll be able to move on to the rest of the project. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cut these out and not leave any uh, sharp corners. Because the sharp corners will come up. Trying to round and soften, uh, soften all of the edges here. Once I have these all cut out, I'm going to get out my actual piece that I'm working, and we're going to get out some. sandpaper. We're going to distress this and then get these pieces applied. Okay. So I'm going to finish cutting these out. When I come back, we're going to have our sandpaper and our piece out and we're going to get started on cutting everything, putting everything together. I'll be back. 
All right, so here's my piece. It's nice and dry. And I'm just gonna take my sanding block. And I'm gonna start sanding off the top layer of paint. Now, if you have um, if you have an electric sander and you want to do this with an electric sander, by all means, do that. Doing it by hand is a little time consuming. But you can see where we're starting to pull the paint off the top layer, leaving the bottom layer exposed. And we're just going to do that through the whole piece. And when I'm done, I'll come back and we'll get started on the next step. So go ahead and sand it down and rough it up, weather it the way you want it to look, and then we'll move on. I'll be back. Okay, so let's say you're sanding this and it's just not you know, it's just not roughing the way you want it to. There's a technique that you can use called dry brushing. Take a dry brush and you're going to take a little bit of paint. Okay. I like to use a fan for this just because I think it works a little bit better. And I'm just going to take a little bit of paint run the brush through, kind of brush it off. And just go over this. A little heavier on the edges, a little lighter in the center. You get the idea. Okay. Now, once you have the piece the way you want it, let it dry. And when it's all dry, you're going to take a very light paper towel and you're going to mist this with just a little bit of water and wipe that sandpaper residues off of there, okay? and you're gonna come up with some residue. Then let the whole thing completely dry and then when we come back, we're gonna get started on putting our decorations on. I'll be right back. Okay, so for the next part, we're gonna start putting the letters on. Now, you're gonna to wanna to use uh, matte gel for this um, or some kind of a matte varnish. I'm gonna be using ultra matte and I'm gonna get out my ruler and I know that this is 18 inches, so nine inches is my midway point. So I'm gonna put my ruler on here. I'm gonna put a small pencil mark right there. That's gonna show my halfway point. And I'm gonna start putting my letters on this way, okay? So my F, my A, and my M are gonna be on the top. My I, L, and Y are going to be on the bottom. So I'm going to put my mat into the container. And I'm just going to start where my mark is, and I'm going to go up. Peel this. Put it down. No, I'm not allowed to play this game. And we're gonna do the A over here. And I'm going all the way across the project with the varnish because I do want the whole thing to be varnished.
Okay, and now I'm gonna go the rest of the way. And then we'll work the bottom half. And once I have these all on here, then I'll be right back. All right, so once I have these all on here and it's all dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my matte varnish and I'm gonna go over the whole thing. Now, if you have a Cricut and you want to cut these letters out of vinyl, by all means, do that. This is the easy, quick, Dollar Tree version. Don't forget to erase your little pencil mark off there once you get your letters placed, okay, before you put on your varnish. done. I'm almost to the end. Once this dries, make sure you turn it over, varnish the other side. We want nice, crisp lines in the varnish, okay? Don't hack it up. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. Once it's completely dry, I will varnish the other side. And then we'll be ready to put the string back on, okay? I'll be back. All right, so now this is dry. And we can go ahead and put our twine back at the top, just simply pushing it back through the holes. Gonna be a little bit snugger because you've got paint in there that's for sure all right there you go so that's it that's our quick dollar tree project um not counting paint this is a two dollar and fifty cent project List of materials will be in the description box below. If you're new around here, go ahead and, you know, subscribe, like me, ring my bell, do the thummy thing. Uh, one way or the other, I don't care. Um, it's still interaction. And if you want to know what I got going on, go ahead and check out the um, community tab here on my YouTube channel or go down to the description box below click on the links go over and check out my facebook group all kinds of interesting stuff going on in both locations until i see you again stay well my friends bye bye